Greetings everybody, welcome back to the never-ending saga of Let's Play XCOM UFO Challenge. Second attempt at this enemy base. Why second attempt? Because in my first attempt the game crashed once again, I hadn't saved yet, and now I'm back here. Great. Anyway, if you are watching this video, then that means I accomplished this uh, floater base in this one video, 20 minutes. And yeah, that's what I'm aiming at, because if it should take longer, you won't see this. You won't see this and we will just ignore it like it never happened, because it's just not worth it. Floater bases are not worth it. They are ridiculous. Floater bases are way too easy. It would just be a waste of time to record it. Anyway, if you are watching this, that means we actually did uh, manage to win this mission in one video. And that would be awesome. The most awesome thing is that I tried this once already, like I told you already. This is my second attempt. And in the last attempt, it crashed right here. There were four aliens. Four. All sitting here, one with a blaster launcher that I managed to mind control. And it was so epic, I just wanted to take the damn shot to blow them all to hell. And you know what happened? Crash! It was just... it was way too fitting. It was... Seriously, it was the best shot I could have done, ever, in this entire game. Four aliens and one hit. And it crashed. It's so delightful when that happens. You feel so victorious and then the game gives you the finger and says, Hoo -hoo, No, 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 no. Oh well, what can you do? Whining won't get us anywhere. But killing floaters will get us somewhere. Oh, look at that, buddy. Oh yeah, th I remember that guy. He's the one I wanted to fly. Uh, how did you miss, copycat? That was a grenade, right? Copycat. Greetings! Welcome back, everybody, to the never-ending saga of Let's Play XCOM UFO Challenge. If you are watching this video, then that means I managed to accomplish this mission in this one episode. 20 minutes. Let's see if I can do this. Why am I doing it? Simply because floater missions are boring, especially base missions. Nothing ever happens. Of course, they can't be a threat. But, uh, yeah, you get the idea. Just float the bases, float the bases, float the bases, they will never end. I simply can do better things with my time. That's why I'm trying to do this in one video. Video, video, whatever. If I should be able to do it, then you will watch this. If not, then it will be like it never happened. Anyway, let's just try this. Copycat. Hmm, since I have so much mind control, I will just try to do this mission with you two. I believe in you. I have complete confidence. You would never disappoint me. You are the best soldiers ever. And there is movement. Indeed, there is. Alright, Daniela, you will check out the area from here. Oh, looky looky. There's the floater. And he's moving towards the elevator. No, we can't let that happen. Gunther Herman, once again, beautiful job at whoa, mind controlling stuff, and you see two aliens, where? Oh, these two. They are not really important. Copycat. See for yourself, can you find anything special? Probably not. Nothing so far. Alright, you will just stay here. These guys down there are not really a big threat. Well, mm, maybe um, they could be. The thing is, um, you didn't see it because sadly, I, like I told you, I lost the beginning of the ethereal mission, the footage. But um, I made a rather painful discovery in that mission. And that discovery is simply, even if you throw away the gun of an alien, it obviously still has uh, all these other th things, like grenades. And yep, indeed, I thought I was safe, and then the bugger threw a grenade. Oh, that was a delightful experience. Nobody died, but it was quite a shock. Oh, hey, looky, you have a gun. Hey, looky, even more. Let's see if we can do this. 
Well, Gunther, you are certainly getting better and better with your mind control. Everything is a freaking success. And there was another one. Which one was it? That one. Alright, you are all unarmed. You are not special at all. I hate you. Alright, you will first of all shoot your buddy in the back. Ah! No! Why? I don't, I don't know what it is, but you just destroyed it. You idiot. What a useless piece of servant you turned out to be! Oh wow, did you just shoot that one back there? Oh don't- oh my god, another thingy got destroyed. Beautiful. Ah, oh, copycat. I don't know if I should hate you or love you. Um, you're pretty much in the open, but just stay there. It's not like anything bad could happen. <laughs> Oh, beer, beer, beer. Wow! Did that really just happen? Ho <laughs> ho! Wow! I don't believe it! That was awesome! <laughs> I don't. Sorry, I don't. Oh, Gunther. I don't know what to say to that. That was so random. It was, in fact, completely awesome. Well, dude, that was just a s- oh. Oh, well, Daniela didn't even suffer any stun damage. I remember you. Do I? I'm actually not sure. Well, you're dead now. For a second I thought that was a blaster bomb, and I was like, why did Daniela not die? That was scary. But nope. Turns out it was just a stun bomb. Nothing to be afraid of. Alright, five minutes into the video so far. Activity at the main door. Hmm. A blaster bomb would certainly be nice there, but there are too many obstacles in the way. It's too much of a risk. However, somebody needs to spot out this place. Aha! Bingo! Gunter Herman, you never disappointed me so far with your mind control. At least not in this mission. Do your magic. Alright, you don't see anything? But I would like you to check out the command center. Aha! Oh, looky! There's an alien with a blaster launcher. That's gonna make getting into the command center a little bit easier. And of course, Gunther Herman. He succeeds once again. Alright, Daniela, do me a favor. In fact, all of you do me a favor. Get away from the main command door. Uh, you should be safe. There's a wall separating you from these goons. Alright, floater engineer. Another floater engineer. And the floater soldier. Oh, my friends, I don't know what's going on with my head, but I believe I just got possessed by Lord Xenu. And he's telling me to kill you all. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, my friends. Well, that works. Alright, anyway, Trollami, do you see anything else? Nope, apparently not. Then prepare yourself, you will enter. You're still a rookie, you need to prove yourself. And what better way to prove yourself than trying to infiltrate an alien command center all by yourself? Alright, copycat. As much as the middle route is important, I need you to check out the sidearms. Just to make sure that nothing is trying to sneak up on us. Alright, so far so good. There's a dude without a gun. He's not important. Oh, looky, there's a... Uh, what is that thing called again? A Reaper. A Reaper. Even though it looks nothing like a freaking Grim Reaper. Oh, wow, really? I actually managed to mind control one of these big things? <laughs> wow, now that is awesome. Well, it's not seeing anything. Alright, yeah, just point your rear end to me. I will put a few bullets in it and hopefully that will kill you. Wow, you're certainly tough, mister. But not tough enough. I'm sorry. Alright, moving on. Daniela, I don't know if I can trust you with this. I mean, I'm sure I can trust you with this, but the question is, is it worth it? I don't want to lose you. You're a pretty good squatty so far. Stay there for now. And copycat, there's still somebody without a gun on the loose. 
I'm scared of his grenades. Hello? Oh, you see something. Hello there, mister. Do you have a gun? If yes, you will be my enemy. If no, you will not be my enemy, but you will die anyway. Oh, you don't have a gun. But you don't spot any enemies. Come a little bit closer, will you? Believe me, it won't hurt a bit. It will only sting a little bit, I assure you. Oh, you can't come closer. Oh well, doesn't matter really. Well, time to storm the command center, troll army. I don't know anything about you really. It's been a long time since you left any comments. And I don't know why you went there. Uh, that's the thing with XCOM. Sometimes your soldiers will go the most ridiculous route, even though you totally wanted them to go somewhere else. Oh well, but you can't always have perfection. Alright, we have a nice hole up there. But I will still send you around here, Daniela. Just in case. Alright, almost 10 minutes into this video. Will we do it? It looks pretty good so far. There seems to be nothing at all down here. But you never know. They might be trying to be sneaky. Alright, Troll Army, now you will enter the command center. Yoohoo! Hello? Anybody home? Yes, indeed, there is somebody up there. Very good. We know what that means. Gunther, do your magic. Where is he exactly? Oh, this is great. I see so much. Oh, great. Alright, Trollami. Where exactly is it? Oh, boy. There it is. How far is this away? Alright, it's somewhere here. Alright, Gunther. It's... I once again... There it is. There. Alright, let's go. Aha! Aha! Blaster launcher! Oh my, if I do this, I will totally wreck all the shit up here. That would not be so good because I want to sell it. Oh my, they both have a blaster launcher. Gunther, it's not over yet. Now it's over for these two goons. First of all, throw away your blaster launchers. Unable to throw there, eh? Now you're pretty much helpless. Trelami, you have enough to shoot one of them. Alright, nice one. Daniela. Now, is there anything out here? Nope. Nothing so far. You will stand behind that door. And copycat, you're down here. I believe there's still one on the loose, I'm not sure. Let's check out this room. What do you mean, not enough energy? How the hell did you exhaust all your energy? You're not carrying too much. Oh well. Nothing happening. That up there might as well be the last one. Alright, Daniela, you didn't have so many kills yet. You will get the chance. Where the hell is he? Oh, there you are. Stand still, sir. Oh, not enough time units. Well, you got him once, but that's not enough, I'm afraid. You try your luck, Trollami. <laughs> Nicely done. The command center is ours. Now, what's in here? Elevator. What the hell? It's like a guard tower. <laughs> that's actually pretty interesting. Hey, what do you know, folks? I managed to do this mission in 20, less than 20 minutes, beautiful, and you know the deal. Plus points, lots of alien stuff, sadly no Illyrium, but over a thousand bonus points. It was alien abduction mission, rating excellent, blah blah blah. And Australia is saved. The first thing I ever did for Australia in this game. And there is an incident. Crash, South America. Yeah, should I really go there? Well, I can't really, my people are still returning. So let's ignore the crash site for a little bit. Yay, the general stores at the Halls of Light have been finished. 
I already have a plan for a plan, whatever, for another base. I will put another base close to this one, and that base will be the one where I manufacture all my good spacecrafts. And once the time arrives, I will simply transfer all my people I need for the final to that base, and then we will go. That sounds like a good idea. Anyway, I am guessing I could head to that base down there. I mean, not base, I mean, crash site. Let's see, where's the second Sky Ranger? Sky Ranger number two. Scout a little bit like usual. Try to find some more alien bases. Try to search and find and whatever. Oh, that crash site is still there. Uh, just patrol there a bit. Haha! The research has been completed! I believe the last thing we researched was the ultimate craft. Let's have a look at it. Oh, there we go. Not as fancy looking, but it's acceptable. So this is the ultimate craft, eh? The Avenger. Transporter and combat spacecraft. The ultimate replication of alien technology. Lots of speed. Acceleration. Not that much fuel, but I believe it won't need too much fuel. Two weapon pods, cargo space 26. That means this thing can carry up to 26 soldiers, right? And HVP capacity 4, does that mean it can carry 26 soldiers and one tank as well? Hoo-hoo, <laughs> nice. I'll be looking forward to that, baby. Alright, we're pretty much getting into the useless stuff now. As soon as I research this uh, ethereal leader here, we will get another goal of the game. But there's also so much more stuff I just like to research for gits and shiggles. Let's see, which of these things could be interesting? Hmm. Is there any alien we don't know anything about yet? We can now produce the Avenger. Nice. Alright, let's check the UFOpedia. Alien lifeforms. We know everything about sectoids, we know everything about snakemen, everything about ethereals, everything about chrysalids. Alright, that means we don't know anything about floaters yet and about all the minion aliens. Okay. Let's research a floater. I want to know what a freaking floater is. Uh, where is he? I know they are so weak, they are not even worth it, but who cares? Here, a floater soldier. Just research this poor fellow, so we at least know how weak these guys actually are. Alright, that's that. And the other base. You are still researching the fusion missiles without any progress. Well, I can now build more buildings here. Alright, let's see. Another general store. And another science lab. If you get invaded by enemies, I don't really care. Space isn't really that important. Um, where is it? Science lab, science lab, science laboratory. There we go. Yeah, you guys are doing fine. Alright, this is, uh, I could go to that thingy down here. I mean, why not? Nobody died on that mission, that's good. Let's have a look at my soldiers. Did anybody, anybody get promoted? I don't think so, really. Wrong base. Nope, wrong screen. Uh, where is it? Soldiers, I'm blind. Alright, let's see. Um, Trollami, you are a squaddy. Congratulations. Rumia, you are still a rookie. Oh well. Daniela, still a squaddy. Uh, copycat, squaddy. I guess it's acceptable. I have plenty of soldiers here. They will always do me proud. Hmm, still so many rookies though that need to be trained. Uh, Rumia, a mystery, you're disappointing me. Alright, should I head to this down here or not? What is this? Oh my god, it's an ethereal ship. No, I don't think so. It's just a crashed ship, I don't... No, 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 no. We'll just ignore that ship down there. It's not important at all. Well, two more minutes. Yep, just return to base, Sky Ranger 2. Nobody cares about you. Oh my, what do we have here? A large scout. Sectoids, alien infiltration mission. Oh, well, I can deal with a large scout. I can shoot it down. 
Interceptor! Do what you're best at, intercept! Just shoot it down. Nice one. Above the ocean, we don't even need to bother with it anymore. That's what I like, that's professional. You don't shoot them down to ask them questions, you just blow them out of the sky and make sure that they don't survive it. Oh looky, a small scout. Alien harvest. Well, Interceptor. <laughs> Do your magic. Oh, tracking lost. Go to last known position. I don't want to lose it. We lost it. Not that it matters. Dum -da -dum -da -dum. Yay, there we go. We finally learned something about these floaters. Oh my, dude, you're ugly. A floater? The floaters are primarily soldiers and terror agents. They are naturally predatory beasts, genetically engineered, and cybernetically enhanced to make formidable, formidable warriors. The lower half of the body and most internal organs are surgically removed, and a life support system is installed. This implant contains an anti-graph unit which enab enables the creature to float, all but un unsteadily through the air. So basically, floaters suck. The end. Floaters are not important at all. Alright, let's also research the floater corpse. Where is it? There we go. I know what they are alive, I also want to know what they are from the inside. And that's pretty gross. Anyway, this video is at its end, so when we come back, folks, what else? We will just keep researching the shit out of everything we have. Don't forget, right now I basically just need to research the ethereal leader and we already could get the final goal of the game. However, I feel like doing a little bit more researching so that this will go on a little bit more. Anyway, until then folks, until then.